Yo, what's up, everybody? I just want to let you guys know that I like pickles. I can shoot threes. Let's go! Alright, so actually, this is an NBA 2K15 micro game. Not, you know, crack kids shooting threes. It's Joe Johnson is... You know, sucking Joe Johnson right now is Denny Tice is perfect release on that jumper. So we are in game four, and jokes aside, we gotta come out serious in this game because we cannot let the Bucks think they have a chance. If we give up this game, the Bucks are it's a 50-50. It's a toss-up. It's a best of three series. And I don't want to be a part of that right now. So we gotta maintain what we earned back in the last game, which was home court advantage, and try to just shut up this Bucks crowd you know they're not exactly the best home court advantage you know when the play, they play the bulls it's usually more bulls fans in the bucks stadium but um you know they got a nice young squad and it doesn't matter what home court advantage they got they are stacked as denny tice is gonna get the rebound right there looking to push it on the break trying to mix it up give it to my teammates also find my own shot joe johnson you know it seems like every single time i show a joe johnson thing it's just he never really makes the shot game one he came out so strong like New Joe Johnson for the playoffs? I could dig that. And he just, I don't know, that Joe Johnson has just gone missing. I put up, you know, I put his thing up, missing guy in the milk cartons. And, like, no one's really helping out. No one can find that Joe Johnson. As here, we're on the break here. Thanks to a nice Denny Ty Steele and Brandon Knight. Or, Brandon Jennings, my bad. One of the Brandons is going to get a jumper right there. They actually got traded for each other, um... Knight and Jennings when Jennings used to be on the Bucks. This is Jennings returning back to his former team. That's an underrated story right here. It's, dang, Brandon Knight earned those free throws right there. He got hacked and whacked and Denny Tice tries to murder Kendall Marshall right there as we're going to get the steal. And I'll line up Mason Plumley who dunks it home. Plumley's more one of the more exciting dunkers. I think he was actually in the slam dunk contest. And Denny Tice It's also one of the more exciting dunkers in the league as we give it to Stokes and Stokes. He tried to get frisky, but um, can't really do a standing dunk outside the paint. That's not how it works, man, as we throw a turnover right there. Second turnover of the game. Trying to make sure we don't have too, too many turnovers because we did struggle with turnovers the last game, even though we did win. Early on, we're down seven right now. Denny Tice in the corner. I wanted that three, but if I took it, I would have faded. Instead, we find... Darren Williams, who misses the wide open three, and once again, they double team off of Darren Williams, and I gotta give him the shot at the end of the quarter, and Darren Williams is gonna make it a four-point game, heading into the locker room, at half, pump faking, finding Brooke Lopez, and Brooke's got the sweet mid-range jumper, I think he, I don't think he, I don't know if he caught glass, but, um, he hit off glass, as Brandon Knight is gonna knock down that shot, that said I allow man to score, but I thought I did a decent job, like right there, we shut down Weaver, but he gets back his own miss, and Brent Dwight Howard, is gonna get an and one instead oh you gotta get those loose balls loose balls can decide games that are close like this one as we find joe johnson pulling up the mid-range jumper and joe actually knocks down a shot we can't i mean i'm i don't want to trash off joe johnson every single video man but he's got to make his jumpers like right here you're gonna pull up that shot you gotta make it and joe johnson started to feel a little bit and i like that i like that it's like it's a struggle to get double digit assists it's kind of like how it used to be with the rockets but um i mean if I could get that, we have a shot of winning. If I could, we could get double-digit assists, I feel good about our chances. I know I could come out and shoot efficiently. Here we find Steve Novak, and Novak's going to get that little flip shot to go right there. We're keeping up with the Bucks right now, despite their best efforts. Jabari Parker going to get that shot to go right there. And the one big weapons for the Bucks was that ball-headed rookie Weaver. He struggled the last game from three-point range. He was like two for eight as we missed his open jumper right there. But this game, he was doing pretty well. He had 11 points. You see Brandon Jennings. That was a mirror of what happened in game three when he tried to do a reverse layup and got blocked. Did it again. Got blocked. <laughs> I mean, come on, Brandon Jennings. <laughs> you know, you got to learn eventually. Is Here you see. I think Brandon and I, someone knocks the jumper while I'm sitting on the bench waiting to come back into the game so I can tie it up or at least try to tie it up heading to the fourth quarter. We are in a tight battle and... It's going to come down to that buzzer, most likely, unless Jabari Parker has more miracle shots like that in him. As you see, we get the steal right here. Bounce past the Joe Johnson. Beautiful play by Tice on the defensive end. And then the offensive end. We hit the step back jumper. Perfect release over Weaver. Tying the game back up. Tice looking to carry the team in the fourth. Though I got to dish it sometimes like here to Mason Plumley, But Plumley takes a wild shot misses it. Next possession for the Bucks. Dwight Howard going to the free throw line. He makes one or two. I'm double teamed. I give it to Lopez. And Lopez, I believe, got blocked in that possession. So, just like that, all of a sudden, we were down six points. And I'm like, all right, time to put the team in my back. No one else wants to do it. I got to do it. No one else wants to make shots. Got to be on me. All we got to do now is get a few stops on the defensive end. The problem was... 
When we got stops, they kept on getting to the free throw line. There was some hometown cooking in this game because there was a lot of free throw shooting for the Bucks and Steve Novak. For some reason, is wide open. He's only on the court for one reason, so um, I don't know why you're not guarding him. <laughs> you know, we got to stay tight on that man, Jabari Parker. They swing the ball, but Jabari can't get the three. But instead, Henson just flips up a shot and gets to draw the foul right there. Henson, I believe, knocked down both free throws. Jabari Parker making it an eight-point game. Denny Tice going to slice through the traffic and make it back a six-point game. Got to get those stops. Got to stop sending to the free throw line. Steve Novak's got to make this shot. But Novak misses a big three. That would have made it a one possession game. Instead, Dwight Howard. Look at the post moves. The post fade from Dwight. That's unstoppable. He's got that in his arsenal. Is Denny Tice. It's pretty much unstoppable. Because he just throws up anything that seems to make it. As Novak open for three. And he's only on the court for one reason. And why the fuck is he on the court if he can't make those shots man you know how pissed i am at steve novak right now if you couldn't tell as we give the lopez back to tice corner three that's a perfect release and denny tice has got the heart we do not want to make this a 2-2 series so i'm closing out on weaver hand in his face but he drills the three oh what a shot by weaver this man's on fire he's trying to help the bucks tie the series up Denny Tice doing all he can trying to get another three, but that one's not going to fall, unfortunately. Can't knock down all those shots that you want, and Weaver is just feeling it tonight for some reason, and my teammates, eh, not so much the same, so... Despite a 41-point effort from Denny Tice, even those 11 assists, I said that we got double-digit assists that felt pretty good. Problem was, the Bucks were just that much better offensively. They're about to get their 105th points. Uh, actually, they don't get it, but they were trying to get the 105th point. Once they get over 100 in this thing, you know, that means they do pretty good. As we had a little bit of a chance there, we could have gotten that shot to go from Joe. But Joe tried to take a 2, first of all, and then he missed it anyway. So, that'll do it for this game. Series is tied 2-2. Heading to Brooklyn, game five, gonna be a big game, gotta make sure we win that one. Leave a like in this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you guys for game five. That is going to be one hell of a battle, man.